Hi everyone, this is Hani from Hanielas and today I wanted to share with you a different kind of a tutorial. Aside from all the cookies and baking, I also like to do some crafty stuff and once in a while I post it on my channel. So I wanted to show you how I decorated this birdhouse. For this project you're gonna need a napkin, water, few painter's brushes, paper towel, scissors, and also uh, you can use decoupage glue or mod podge. Okay, and here is the birdhouse. I started with uh, painting the birdhouse with the primer and then just the household paint, white satin household paint. And then as you see, I already started decorating on one side and now I wanted to show you how I did that. So uh, here is the napkin I'm using. As you see, this is a pretty complex pattern. You don't have to use anything this complex. You can use something a lot simpler. There is quite a bit of cutting involved in this pattern. So um, if you don't like to cut things out a lot, you want to use a simpler pattern. But I really like cherry trees, so I wanted to use this one. And as you see, uh, I'm going pretty close to the image but I'm not really worried if there is a little bit of white showing because my base is white and uh, the image will base it will blend in with um, with my base and now I just want you to separate the layers you're just gonna keep the top layer it's really very thin very light and see-through so you wanna store it somewhere so it doesn't get blown away I'm storing it between two pages in my Cook's Illustrated magazine. And here are all the patterns that I cut out and they are ready to be used. Oh, and I also wanted to show you um, on the edge where the, the layers of the stamp are stamped together, of the layers of the napkin are stamped together. It's a little harder to separate. So if your pattern goes all the way to the edge and you want to cut it there, I would recommend that you first separate the layers um, to avoid any tearing once you cut out the pattern. And now, because I am building a cherry tree, I need to use different cutouts and build the tree myself so this one I don't like so much so I'm gonna see about this this is a larger cutout and it seems to be working better so I'm just going to use this one I just have to trim trim um, the branch at the end so it fits better and then once you're done with trimming you can take a small painter's brush and dip it in water and then just very gently dab the napkin and as the water is being absorbed by the napkin it actually conforms to the surface underneath and it actually becomes part of the surface and you don't want to drag the brush you just want to dab it onto the napkin and you also don't want to have a puddle of water there just just you just want to saturate the napkin with water without uh, having to use too much water and then once you're done very quickly take a paper towel and just press it to remove excess water and then you can continue adding additional branches and once you did that we can apply Mod Podge or as I mentioned before you can also use decoupage glue and at this stage because you are just applying first layer you don't want to drag the brush you just want to very gently just dab it because the flowers are still loose, they are not attached and once the water dries out they will peel off so you have to somehow secure them and Mod Podge will do that so you have to apply one layer just dabbing and then second layer once the, once the first layer is dry you can you can brush it on and then you can apply additional la layer of uh, other varnish if you'd like to 
And this is a project that you can use for other, other surfaces as well. You can decorate the trays, picture frames, or whatever you like. So I just wanted to share this with you. I think it turned out really nice. And I hope uh, you like this tutorial. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you can also subscribe to get all the video updates delivered to you via email. Thanks for watching. See you next time.